Hey guys, it's me, EOD Gimmick here. It's a bit of a sad video today. I just want to share with you what I just read and it upsets me tremendously as a content creator as well. Latest Prywin update is unedited chat GPT. This is a post on Reddit by Halagas. It's very unfortunate, two hours ago he has posted this. For those of you who don't know, chat GPT is an AI software where it just helps you churn out like content like nobody's business. If you haven't used it, you should probably try it. Uh, it's easy to test whether you can see that a writing is actually done by chat GPT or not. If you work, like for example, you mentioned over here, if you work in education or academia um, or anything like fact checking, there is actually software available right now to tell you whether your work has been written by an AI. There are certain sentence structures that is actually able to, to be sense. Uh, too perfect is of course a telltale of, of AI itself, too grandiose a way of writing words. If you work in like universities, that's how people like check whether your work has been like just run by ChatGPT in case you guys were wondering. Um, it's unfortunate. This guy has has written a post. Some of the sentences he highlights that is very, very elaborate, more elaborate than necessary, does seem like it has been buffed with um, ChatGPT. Maybe just trying to fill in the blanks. I just want to share with you a content creator's perspective. Nowadays on YouTube, you have these kind of like AI voices. They just have those shots that just makes up purely of AI. Meaning a human voice is actually less and less important. Doesn't really matter what you sound like anymore. Doesn't matter what you look like. People can just copy your face, copy your voice, and pretty much all content is going be robotic in the future. Um, if this is what the world is going towards, then unfortunately there will be no space for content creators in the world in the future, right? Everything is just going to be AI dominated. Um, but a respectable, this is, I would say like private is relatively respectable. I personally don't use them a lot, but I know a lot of community look up to them, look to their guides as well, look their tier list and whatnot. Um, Unfortunately, it is what it is. I hope they defend themselves, but let's just see what the comment section is also saying on this Reddit post. Just a few of them here. Um, one of them, the first comment here, I noticed old character builds are not getting updated with light cones. To be fair to them, and I don't just want to like bash um, AI users or uh, AI content creators like uh, Pridewind, but at the same time, not updated with light cones here by uh, Esther Sunday. Really, this is not super fair because there is a lot of work to be done. Whenever you have like new light cones introduced in the game, you have like how many characters now? 50 plus, 58, 60 characters. It's a ton of work to actually like update every single one of them. So I can understand why um, they are probably not doing it. It's a lot of manpower. But that being said, Prywin earns thousands of dollars a month for the amount of ad revenue that you guys, uh, we just like clicked on their things. There are many different games. Thousand plus dollars every single month. I wouldn't even be surprised if it's $10,000 with the amount of collaborations that doing with a lot of uh, um, brands as well. So they could have afforded a good person. Any of you out here watching this video and you speak English, I'm sure you are able to write proper text about the game. If you have been watching enough, you probably be, are be able to edit it. Probably the editor doesn't even do the content itself because from what I'm aware, Prywin has like, they liars, they work together with other people who data mine and then they do the testing, members of committee, and then they just provide the site, the information itself, and then they just write the thing out. So if you can't even write the word, that is really, really very sloppy in my opinion. But to be fair to them, not updating old guides, I think is really, really understandable. I think it's totally fine. Even I myself find it very difficult to update every single patch for every single character. That is a mountain of work. But you can't be like 1.0 characters are totally like still at 1.0. You at least have to do it like every year or every like six months or something, right? Rather wait than having an AI slot guide. Um, unfortunately, I do share a similar opinion. Like I rather work that is not perfect, but at least you are human, a human touch. At least you are helping the, you are made by a human being. You're not like lazily copying, AI is like technically copying someone's work and putting it in. Very early on when we were just trying to do some AI adventure, people didn't really like that and I don't think this is something very, very good as well. It's not good for the whole creator space, No, not good for the community. I think this is very, very anti-creation, anti-artistic, anti-whatever it is. Um, didn't notice before, you're right, writing is awful to read. To be fair, it's decent. The writing is decent. It's just now that it's found out to be AI, it is not very great. I hope that um, Prywin does come out and make a statement and address why they decided with the resources that they have to do this. Make me wish that Kerching Mains, this was a Genshin Impact um, site. I followed them a lot in past also. So Kerching Mains were very good. Shout out to you guys as well back in Genshin days. Also have Honkai Star Rail guides. Unfortunately, they do. Someone says they do Kerching Mains, Honkai Star Rail, uh, but everyone just talks about Prywin, Prywin, Prywin. So hopefully this event makes people 
uh, venture out to look for other sites and we don't like have one quote unquote like holy bible that everyone goes towards but rather you have many many different sites that people go towards different opinions you have many different content creators too right on YouTube here you have so many different ones um, and why can't we all have different sites as well we need more sites out there and I think this is a great op opportunity for more sites to come out if any of like sites you guys know as well and want to collaborate I'm happy to, to come in and help us out to broaden the amount of content that we have in the Hongkai Star Wars community, I don't think it's very healthy to take just one particular site. And that is just my rant. I just want to share with you my honest opinions. I'm very, very hard about this, heartfelt about this, because it, it is my life as well. I'm a content creator and it will be very upset if the whole world just turns to robotic voices. But let me know what you guys think as well. Is it fair? Is it unfair? What are your thoughts? I'd like to hear them. Uh, anyways, thank you guys for listening to my opinion. And thank you guys again so much for watching and see you in the next video.